Collaboration as a concept is hardly a novel idea. At the risk of stating the obvious, it is as old as architecture itself. Few indeed are the buildings in the world that have been designed and built by one person alone, and of those that have, it may be debatable whether they can be considered architecture in that sense at all. But this is a MOOC on digital architecture, and so our focus in this unit about collaboration will lie on the ways in which information technology has shifted the nature of joint working and also on the inherent significance this has on architecture, design and creative processes generally. This ties in directly with what gets referred to as a sharing culture. Now, whether or not this is a culture as such is open to question, but it is certainly a sharing behaviour that has become signally more prevalent, first with computing and then greatly amplified with the internet. The way in which we collaborate today has been not just exemplified, but very much precipitated by the open source movement, which is ideologically rooted in the political shake-up of post-war Western society that came about through the hippie counterculture, which rejected the materialism and capitalist values of the first half of the 20th century, perceiving them as intrinsically entwined with warfare, with the then acute and growing nuclear threat, and with an irresponsible exploitation of natural resources. This alternative social and political awareness forms the cultural backdrop against which the open source idea took hold and from which sprang many, though certainly not all, of the groundbreaking developments in shared computing and the internet before they were then comprehensively appropriated by the commercial mainstream. And because of its significance, we are treating open source not so much as an adjunct or subset to collaboration, but as a development in information technology that may be considered integral to it. There are then two main strands to this unit on collaboration. Firstly, how digital tools and techniques make collaboration in architect practices more efficient, therefore faster, more integrated and possibly more successful. And secondly, in a much wider cultural context, how the sharing of information, software, construction, plans and ideas engenders a new kind of work and what value this may add to the architecture that is being created. This is interesting to us not only as architects, but also as digital humans, if you like, citizens of a world in which we can observe the emergence of an evolutionary intelligence through sharing. And this is a particularly pertinent point to observe. If you were born after about 1990, and that may well be the majority of you, it is perhaps difficult to imagine, but the idea that you would share any part of your life, let alone every part of it, as a continuous real-time narrative online is absolutely new to the 21st century and would simply not have occurred to anyone only a generation earlier. And that includes all of us who have made the Atlas of Digital Architecture and are now making this MOOC that is based on it. The whole concept of sharing as a default mode is new. Of course people shared things they liked before. Everybody over the age of 50 will fondly remember the joy of making or receiving a mixed tape, for example. People over the age of 60 may well even remember slideshow evenings with actual real-life analog slides with neighbours or friendly couples with some 1970s cocktails thrown in. So no, the desire to share and to maybe also obtain a degree of recognition through sharing is not new. What is new is the adoption of sharing as the obvious thing to do always and the speed and degree of proliferation with which you can do it across the globe. Collaboration is a form of sharing and so it is no surprise that in an age of sharing we also find ourselves in an age of 
collaboration. For professionals, creatives and artists of every ilk, and therefore for architects, this may mean we are moving away from being specialists and sole authors to being contributors, cross-fertilizers and collaborators much more. Here too, it may be fanciful to make sweeping assertions and to speak in the broad brushstroke terms of generalizations, but this MOOC is a case in point. A working group on architecture and information technology, AKAI, which stands for Arbeitskreis Architektur und Informatik, which brings you the atlas that this MOOC is based on, had been collaborating over a distance for years, but it was really only with the internet and digital communication tools that a methodology like ours has become feasible at a practical level and therefore conceivable as a realistic project. Practical and realistic project being the operative terms here, because Books have been written as collaborations long before ours for certain. The French Encyclopédie, edited by Denis Diderot and Jean Laurent d'Alembert, had 150 contributors. Published between 1750 and 1772, it came in 28 volumes, featuring 71,118 articles and 3,129 illustrations, and combined, its contributors wrote some 20 million words. It was a collaboration. It is also something of a miracle that it ever happened. Diderot dedicated some 21 years of his life to this oeuvre. During this time, he was taken to court for sedition, ridiculed and abandoned by friends. He damaged his eyesight and struggled to keep going. In the end, he was to find out that his work had been redacted without his knowledge or let alone consent by his bookseller who was afraid of getting into trouble over it. Still, somehow it got done, which also tells us that the encyclopédie is far from commonplace. It is a highly unusual work. In fact, it was as good as unique at the time. An atlas of digital architecture may pale into insignificance against it, but by comparison, getting this done was an almost routine operation. And that's what's changed. Yes, it would also have been possible a hundred years ago, but the execution of it would have been prohibitively expensive, slow and cumbersome. That we were able to think it and then carry it out within the three years it ended up taking, all told, and that we are now able to share its contents with you in this MOOC format, is really entirely down to digital collaboration.